Right, so here we are at the end of the first chit activation for turn one in this game. And from what I understand the way the game works, uh, <coughs> these these headquarters, the next chit that I pull out, which let's just pull a chit out. Okay, there you go. So the next chit I pull out is uh, First Panzer, who has a wonky, wonky, uh, bit of a wonky clipping. Um, First Panzer. I'll pop that down there, just to remind us. All right. There's a three on these units. That's the command range. That is as far uh, all the units within a three hex range are going to get to activate and be moved by as as part of First Panzer headquarters. Right. So there's a need as you move to naturally keep your forces somewhat focused together. So you can't go running off doing crazy stuff. I think I mentioned this earlier on in another video about how you, you can't just go rolling off and doing whatever you want, wherever you want. Uh, so at the end of the turn, at the, the movement phase up here in the north, uh, or central area, a little bit here, I had those two HQs, the third and the second HQs, back further in the field, trying to be a little bit more protective of them. Uh, and so I, I went back and reread the rules and realized what you needed to be doing here. And I was also concerned about supply lines as well, because you've got to count, uh, I think it's seven hexes from an HQ to the supply line. No, it's three hexes back to an HQ, and then yes, seven hexes back to a supply uh, point or a uh, or a rail line that goes back. I think that's right. Don't I sound so definitive? <laughs> anyway, as we're winging our way through this game, uh, so so I thought, you know what, well I don't really need to, I could get, you know, as long as I've got these these trails of uh, those Zox blocking and all this sort of stuff, I'm pretty much in good shape, and I'm in good shape for the first turn anyway, but I'm trying to use a little bit of best practices, as uh, some of my buddies from Seattle would say, best practices, Kev. Uh, so, uh, to try and keep all the guys within supply. So, in fact, when I moved, initially moved these, I had these guys rolling all the way up to Minsk, which is just to the right out of screen and a few guys further up here, so I, I, I took those moves back and kind of consolidated them here. So that's kind of a, it's a quick little update. We, we just pulled first Panzer, so we're going to go move these guys, and uh, the rest of the chits in the cup, uh, for your edification, uh, the, the other three Panzer units, a move counter and a counterattack uh, chit for the, uh, for the Soviets. So we're going to uh, play this turn, keep playing this turn, and see how we go. Uh, so far it's all very, very straightforward, a nice, simple system, and there's a, a level of uh, uh, cleverness without being smart assed that uh, I really like about this so far. Uh, I'm one turn into it, so we'll see what happens. Almost, at first I thought I'd, uh, I'd done something wrong because these units here with the white hexagon shadow. Those units uh, are the only types of units that have zones of control. So for the Soviets, there's a guy here. He's got, uh, he's got a zone of control. Once you touch a zone of control, you have to stop. So good job here by the Soviets in their initial setup that this blocked, uh, blocked an advance, uh, runaway advance type of thing. And, I thought up north, oh man, I can't go anywhere, I can't move because I'm stopped by all the zones of control. But all these little guys, all these 1-4s, they don't have zones of control, so you can just roll on right by them. Anyway, alright. 